So it feels kind of weird doing multiple replays of games I've already played on this channel simultaneously. Though to be fair, people seem pretty happy with my SpongeBob movie playthrough right now. Regardless, this is one of the two things we're going to do, hopefully pretty quickly, for the send-off for playing through all these Hot Wheels games. This one is something that I wanted to do for a long time. In fact, there were a lot of things I wanted to do with Velocity Dex that I ended up deciding against just because I didn't want to keep replaying things. But this is the one that I ended up deciding to keep as an excuse to go through this game again and have a little bit of fun at least. Try a few things that I thought sounded amusing. I can never see Metacog in this game without thinking of... Oops. I can never see Earhead in this game without thinking of Metacog because they're purple. Also, if you excuse me, game's got probably anything a little weird here. No? Okay. I want to open something up real quick. Make sure I don't forget some things. Okay. Yeah, that was why the game stopped for a moment there. We good? There we go. Ah! I need to make the game play when the window's not in focus. I should probably change that. Because I have other windows to mess around with sometimes. Anyways, you probably already know what we're doing since you saw the thumbnail and the title of the video. But what are we doing here? So, well, first we're going to look at the game. But there are a couple special playthroughs I always wanted to do with this game. Some of which would be using certain cars. There are a couple cars that are pretty entertaining to play as in this game. I consider doing one as Hypermite, but I already played through like half the game as Hypermite anyways. Uh, is there anything else I want to see? Options. Also, we've unlocked very hard, so I want to see what it is. I'm not in the most desirable position to try out very hard because I don't it's been so long since I've played the game on normal that I might not notice the differences but we'll try it. It could also be fun to play through the game with the starting car, the Suzuka. But what we'll do instead is yet another thing. Also doesn't have a license for some reason. Calculating outcome. Projected advantage nitro burn. I will watch the scenes again, by the way. Just for fun. Same one last time. Some kids play basketball after school. I have a reputation to defend. But if I made time for every wannabe with a nitrous kit that called me on, I'd never get my homework done. They're mostly very short anyways. Uh-oh. Not good. Distress signal from home base. Time to cut and run. Looks like we'll have to finish this another time, pal. Duty calls. You ain't bailing out of me that easy, Justice. Sure. Whatever. <laughs> Some people never learn. You ever play chicken? It's easy. The trick is, no matter how bad things look, never shut your eyes. I'll be looking for you, Justin. Got home in record time. But I'm still too late. This is more than a simple break-in. Somebody was looking for something. Gearhead! Gearhead is one of Dad's gizmos. What happened? Where's Dad? Location unknown. Can't tell if he got away. I know one thing, though. Somebody is messing with the wrong family. It's funny hearing Danny's voice again. Allow an activity. Security breach. Hot engineering unit. Blasted second-rate security system. I told your dad to take care of that, but no. He was too busy inventing stuff. Forget about that, Gearhead. I'm heading over there to check it out. 
Wait. Hold on, Max. Sensors have detected explosives in the building. It may not be safe. But all of Dad's plans, and, and his research, and his cars. Now I've really got to go. Dr. Justice is going to kill me for this, but, uh... Okay, Max, but you better hurry up. There's not much time. Get to that engineering plant. Don't let anyone get in your way. Like muscle dog. No problem. If I run across any of those guys, I'll take them out on the way to Dad's lab. That's the aggression we're used to from Danny. So, of course, this is also serving the role as... You have all these cars. Good, right? yeah. I forgot to turn on the sheet to lock these ones, so I'm not going to use them anyways. This is, of course, going to be a playthrough with a servant school bus. Which is specifically the bus of the Danny Phantom School for the Driving Impaired. So, this is, of course, also going to serve as a little bit of an epilogue. Oh, look at that stunt stat. Great. Nobody's going to break this thing, though. The armor on this is absurd. And for some reason, it seems literally invincible against this game's most powerful weapon. Atom Smasher, I think it's called. If I remember right. We'll see if this gives the same real problems completing the game. I'll try. I forgot about the power ups. I don't need armor repair. Might as well just always have Adam Blaster, I guess. I can test it. But yeah, we'll also talk about a little bit of the story, so to speak, insofar as this is mostly just an epilogue just to kind of show where some of the characters are. Not where all of them are. Well, anything that's left out, which should be most of the characters, we will... Like how, I love this. We just specifically say, we want to destroy two cars. Okay. We will... see in later in the last game. Like right through. So let's see how, just how... Okay, I figured we'd at least, like, pop into that in the... Oh, jeez, what? Violent way. Okay. Uh, turn, please. So I'm not sure if being on very hard changes the timeline or anything like that, or makes any more damage, or have more health, or whatever. We'll just see. If it starts giving me trouble, I have a few things we can, we can do about that. I think a little bit more manageable. Don't spin out, please. Here we go. That's Muscle Tone and uh, that Metacog and Hammer Coop. Interesting combination of characters. So, I should really be talking though, about. Well, not because I'll be Metacog and Muscle Tone are here and getting Danny's way of all people. And also, how do we attack again? That's how we attack. Okay. Where are you guys? Stop that. So, just need the attack I want to use. There you go. If you make me spin around, it's just gonna make things scary. Because like now you have. Oh. Again, shooting in circles, it will definitely hit you. I feel like you had less health than there we go. Anyways, Bustone is probably not gonna be much of a fighter. I don't think anybody's really much of a fighter against Danny here. <laughs> Straight out the smartest thing fighting against Danny here. Anyways, I'm, of course, I keep distracting myself here. What I mean to be saying is... You can at least start off with what happened to Danny and... the immediately related characters. After the events of... The two arcs that we went through in the series. Come on, dude. These guys really are really aggressive, jeez. Although I could, of course, still. I could see I'm. Still still my real one. There you go. So, Danny. I don't know if you quite say he mellowed out, but. In fact, you certainly didn't, because we're here, still destroying cars. But he ended up opening his own driving school, the Danny Fenton School for the Driving Impaired, that being our medial driving school. 
Uh, ha! So you actually can do some turns with this thing. Yeah, you, you can do rotations with this. Oh! Muscle tone is back. I don't really care about you, muscle tone. You're not really the one I intend to go after. Is this muscle tone's posse or something? Are they just angry at me for attacking muscle tone? Muscle tone fanboys. Ah. Whatever, I have stuff to do. Ah, oh, there's a... I can't remember what it's called. That one red car that Metcon drove. But yeah, so Danny ends up opening his own remedial driving school. Can I get in here first? There we go. At the time we're done. Oh, I'll still unlock, which I already had. Cool. What was that? Professor saying that all of a sudden? Why do you say that? It's weird just hearing his voice coming out of nowhere. Security breach. Hot Wheels tire factory. Unknown intruders. Whoever is in there isn't just looking for a new set of wheels. Oops. Looks like I detected another explosive device. This time, grab it and get rid of it before it goes off. You can drop it off at this abandoned building. Don't worry, it's been scheduled for demolition anyway. Got it. I'll drop off the bomb at the abandoned building. I'm heading out now. Just be careful. Your father would disconnect me permanently if anything happened to you. And most of the... Most of the household, the Justice household at this point, robots included, are also... Now helping out with... The whole... Driving school thing, in various ways. How specifically? I have it written down. Gearhead. Of course, being the one that nobody liked anyways. Has been given the position of janitor at the driving school. The drive part, get there, pick up the bomb, throw the bomb. The professor is actually, of all things, assistant assistant teacher, of course the head teacher being Danny. And I can't really look at the list of things and drive at the same time if I'm trying to time it very easily. Yes. This is what buses are made for. Ow, I did not mean to shift to the left there. That was not what I needed to do. There we go. So, you know, for being a driving instructor, Danny has not done the best job of not hitting cones, but I guess that's just not his priority right now. Doesn't necessarily mean he's good at that, anyways. Fighting is still his thing, of course, as we can see right now. Are they already? Oh, good job. Bombs already went off. You guys wanna... There we go. There we go. Yeah, I guess we've angered the muscle tone fan club. Well, let's get going, because we don't have much time up there. Now. Hopefully this will be a pretty quick playthrough. We'll have to see. Arrow, what are you doing? Try the cutscene again. So can I just ignore, ignore those enemies? Because that might be what I should have done. I can't get them all the back to this menu. If we go into any missions that we pretty much absolutely can't complete with a bus, which might not really happen because the bus isn't actually that slow, I have a few things we can do to address that issue. Muscles, in case you're wondering, had most of his cybernetics of various sorts removed. He is now his own human being. But also 
having lived a certain portion of his life under the professor, just doing whatever the professor orders him to. Kind of has to start his own life anew again. Will, will I see what he's up to right now, or will I let that be introduced in the next game? I think I'll wait until the next game to play to talk about that. It's actually kind of hard to see these cones. Because the screen's kind of small the way I'm playing this. This bus is a lot better than I remember to rotating, actually. It's just not very practical to try to do flips with it. I thought it's pretty fine. And there's some kind of pun for that red car's name, too, that I just never could remember. Do I actually have to fight these guys? I do. Darn. It's actually pretty rough. Oh, come on. Oh, they had someone else. Nice that that one looked like burn. Jeez, though, you really don't... So they cut up... So whatever time you had left, they cut it off. They cut it down. Another time limit. That's kind of mean. Oh, jeez, I have to get through the loop, too. Jeez, game. Can I just restart from here without going through everything? No, I can't. Jeez. Alright, I'm... Things will start kind of bumpy on this playthrough. For one, I haven't played the game in a long time. But as you get through things more quickly, as you get more used to it, we'll make it work. Although I might also have to, at some point, do some less honest things to beat these timelines and whatnot. But we'll see about it. I'll see you next time where I actually hopefully get to talk out characters more instead of struggling with fighting these guys. See you, everyone.